Welcome to another Demarcation Media Haul video. We have a very exciting video today, and it's also a little bit sad, because as most of you probably already know, the Call of Duty line is coming to an end. Permanently. Well, permanently is kind of, it's a slightly relative term, because if for some reason um, Call of Duty starts getting a bunch more attention, and say they release a new game and it does really well, then I'm sure Mega would probably pick it up again and start doing sets. But for now, there's going to be no more sets. So I decided that I should probably try and get as many, if not all of the final wave of sets as possible um, to do some reviews before the line ends. Because even though I'm not a Call of Duty fan specifically, the Call of Duty Mega Constructs are just really good uh, if you want to make your own kind of military figures, customs, scenes, photos, all of that. And a lot of the figures like reminds me of stuff like what um, Acid Rain does, but just way cheaper. So I decided to pick up some. And then we have some Dollar General stuff as well from the Halo line. And then we have a package to look at. So let's jump right in and start with those Call of Duty sets. Okay, so first we have the two new kind of weapon crate sets, which the presentation changed a ton with these. They used to be like little sealed up boxes, but they changed the presentation, made it this blister pack thing, and it looks so good. Like this, the branding on the back, the presentation of the parts and everything inside, it all just looks really, really good. And I'm sad that we are only getting these two as our last wave. Also, here's something interesting. I had never seen this before on a uh, small set like this. This is one of those scanner things to make sure people don't walk out of the store with it. And the lady at the Dollar General said that apparently people would grab these all the time and just walk out with them. So they had to put those on. Don't steal. That's really not good because this is an $8 set. Just pay the $8. Why would you why would you steal it? That's That's just not nice to anybody then we have the winter one so this was the hazmat crate then we have the winter world war ii winter crate and the packaging is actually quite different you see the crate on this one is bigger then we've got the more like wood looking crate on this one it's got the big snowflake which is pretty cool you can see the uh, design of the backdrop is a little bit more urban for the hazmat one and then this one's a little more winter, but the presentation is the same. And then we have this one, which is the Warzone Squad. And this is kind of like, I don't know, this is almost like the Heroes versions of these figures. And these weapons are really giving me some Destiny vibes here. But yeah, this is one, we haven't really seen a set like this for Call of Duty. This is three figures, a bunch of painted weapons, some painted accessories, a crate. So it's kind of like an upgraded version of these smaller crate sets. And we have three named figures. That ghost looks really, really cool. He was kind of the whole reason why I decided to go ahead and buy the set. On the back, black and white, but the back is actually shiny uh, cardboard as opposed to this kind of cardboard. So you can tell it's a bit of a... a uh, higher up set so i'm really excited to review these three but the one i'm most excited about is back here even before mega announced that they were not going to be doing any more call of duty sets it had been a long time since we had gotten a real set we got a lot of the weapon crates figure pack kind of things but it had been so long since we gotten a real set i don't know how long exactly I was not that into the Call of Duty line to know when they stopped making the bigger sets. But then out of the blue, this set leaked a while back, and then it released, and the Halo stuff took up most of my attention, so I didn't get it. But I wanted to get it as soon as I saw it because there's a building. So not only is this a big Call of Duty set, which is rare, it's also a structure build which is also really rare. So this set is something special for sure. And I figured, you know, I need to buy one and review it as as part of the send-off to the Call of Duty line. 
and it looks really cool. We got a crash helicopter, this dude with a giant Gatlin gun, this guy with the little like missile spotter thing, the hotel. The the whole branding for the package looks really nice. I like the black series kind of stuff for the Call of Duty line. I am sad that they stopped doing the product photography because the Call of Duty sets had the most epic box art with the photos. Got some more pictures of our dudes on the side. And then around the back, we get to see the hotel crash helicopter. We get a little flag, all the accessories, kind of missile with the flame end. And then we got a missile on the rack. And then over here, these, I still need to get these two. So here's the two crates we just saw. Now I need to get these two four packs. And then there's a uh, another chopper that's not a crashed one that is also part of the new wave. But yeah, this looks really cool. I'm really excited for this. I'm really excited, especially for that hotel build. That's going to be super useful to drop into various uh, photos and whatnot. And it, this box feels full. Like I was kind of expecting the box to be smaller and not quite as full. But no, it feels very full. It's 456 pieces. This is a $40 set. So yeah, I'm excited for this. I'm really excited for this one. I also picked up a pair of Halo sets for my Dollar General. I decided to swing by a couple weeks ago and just check to see if they had anything new. It had been a while since they had restocked, and I was like, you know what, might as well look. And they were absolutely packed with stuff. So I got, no, not that one, um, got these two there. What was funny is I bought them. I bought these two and this one. I wasn't going to buy the Sword Base Invasion at the time. Um, but then I got out to the car, got home, was looking at the receipt and realized they charged me $12 for 12 each for these. And this, this is a $12 set. These are $8 sets. So I went back and I was like, Hey guys, you messed up the pricing. And they were like, Oh, okay. And they went and proceeded to mark all three down to $8. So I was like, uh, okay. So I went and grabbed this. And so now we have the two halo sets here. This is one that I never got. It took forever to show up in my area. And I don't know. It just something about the, the color schemes or maybe, I don't know, the skirmishers were interesting, but not super interesting. I, I don't know why. It just didn't catch my eye a ton. But I decided to go ahead and get it. A couple reasons. First of all, I want to do a video comparing all of the CQB Spartans. So this, I think there's only like four. So I'll be missing only one after this. Then I wanted to get the skirmishers, and there's also a jump pack in this set, which is super rare. It's been before the set. I don't know the last set that we got the jump pack in. Maybe the elephant? No, it couldn't have been. It couldn't have been that far back, huh? It, it's been a while. The UNSC jump pack is not a common piece at all, and I really wanted to get my hands on one of those, so. Pick that up. And then we have the Brute uh, Customizer Pack. So that's a pretty cool. This is one that's pretty much always in my Dollar General. And I just never got it. But I decided to go ahead and grab it. Um, Simon over on the domain did a really great review of it. So I'd go check that out. Because it might be a little bit before mine comes out. But yeah. Of course. The haul could not be all Call of Duty. Got to get a little bit of Halo in there. And last but not least, we have a package from Noble Six Originals. I will put the link to his YouTube channel down in the description. Go ahead, pause the video, go check out his channel. So I bought some sets from him um, the other week. And he also said he put some extra stuff in here, I think. So let's go ahead and check it out. That actually unsealed really easily. It's a little bit worrying that the glue wasn't sticking that hard. Okay. Oh, wow. It's all in one uh, one big thing. So I bought from him the Banished Turret Takedown and its counterpart, the Radar Wreckage. So these are weird sets because they showed up like nowhere <laughs> at all. I think maybe they showed up in Canada for a little bit, but they're really rare sets for like no reason at all. Um, I believe both of the figures are exclusive. 
Or, wait, no, no. This guy came in the New Dawn blind bags, I think, as well. But this Brute didn't come in any other set. The Jump Pack Brute. And I think his... Pretty much all of him is exclusive. So... I bought those, and then some extra figures as well. So let's see, what do we got in here? So here's the Spartan. He's sealed. We have the Halo Heroes Series 11 Operator, which I've gotten this guy before, but I customized him. Actually, I got him twice. So the first one I got had a wrong leg armor or missing a leg armor or something. And so I just customized him. And then Mega sent me a replacement. And I also customized him. So I didn't have a normal stock one of these guys. And I need him to uh, put him in the Halo Heroes. Every Halo Heroes generic Spartan series that I'm working my way through. So that's why I've got this guy. Let's see. And then we've got a Halo Heroes Jackal Miner. Because I want to see how this dude compares to the new Halo Heroes Jackal, the Jackal Freebooter. We've got the Jackal Miner. Oh, look at that. There is the Jump Pack Monkey. Oh, wow, he's a buff monkey. Uh, wait, he actually comes with, like, the buff human arms. Oh, that's a little weird. I guess they didn't make the uh, the monkey arms yet when they made this set. Oh, yeah, that's that's very strange. But yeah, then he's got like rubber armor things and then this funky helmet and then the big jump pack. What a weird figure. So strange how that set just kind of poofed away oh and look at this the set is mostly well i say mostly it's kind of in pieces that i could put together so maybe i'll just throw these together real quick there we go everything is put together and uh it looks like the radar is missing a piece there's supposed to be or it's actually a, a little assembly it's supposed to have one of these and then a little antenna thing um so i don't know where that ended up i guess i'll uh i guess i'll have to contact noble six and uh ask him see right there it's supposed to have the little antenna um so that's a bit of a problem but not too bad i also just found this thing i don't know where this came from i don't think it came from either of these sets i must have dropped it from something else that i did some other time um but yeah and then we've got i went to take out the spartan and mega botched this spartan a lot i don't know what the heck they did to this spartan but the torso is like kind of grainy and weird and then his hand is kind of fused. So I'm going to have to get a different torso, which I do think I have because I think it's the same kind of um, torso as what the kind of light blue one uses. So I think I should have the extra parts for him. And I'll just have to heat this up to uh, be able to move the hand again. But yeah, the, the turret's pretty cool looking. Radar looks pretty nice. It just needs the other piece. And yeah, we've got the weird monkey. I I just I don't understand these sets. They're just so random. And what's even more random about them? What where did I just set the instructions? Oh, here we go. Is on the back they advertise the Marauder, which was another super weird one, the Banished Marauder, and then Operation Ocean Breaker Drop Pod. Why? they put that on there i have no idea but yeah it's super super random but yeah i'm interested in uh doing these reviews because like i said they're very very strange sets
Well, there you have it. I'd say that's a pretty good haul. Uh, actually, there's more just straight up sets here than usual in my hauls. Usually, um, there would be more packages than sets. But yeah, I've been kind of amassing this for mm, two weeks now, three weeks now, so that I can have a bunch of Call of Duty stuff to review, a couple of Halo things to review, these weird sets to review. I'm... I just, I don't understand what Mega's thinking sometimes when they release sets. It's like, let's release this set that pretty much nobody will ever see. Except for maybe, I think these showed up in Mexico and maybe Canada. And that was it. So, yeah, super, super weird. And again, kind of, it's kind of a, a sad haul because of the Call of Duty line ending. I know there was a lot of fans of the Call of Duty line, but I guess the sales just weren't enough to keep it running. So definitely I'm going to fit in these reviews before the line ends. And I would recommend that you go and grab some of these. These things can be found in Dollar Generals. I got this set off of Amazon, and then this set is 40 bucks on the Walmart website. So... I would definitely recommend you go and pick up a few, especially this set, because that is something special, having it be a the last large Call of Duty set and one of the rare occasions we ever get a structure build for a set. I hope with the Halo Universe line, Mega branches out to doing some more structures in the Halo line, because with Call of Duty going away, like Call of Duty was kind of the main line that gave us structures because there was like all those nuketown sets and that kind of stuff halo barely ever gives us structures which is super unfortunate and i would absolutely love to see more things like the assault on high ground kind of thing we'll see i guess but yeah i'd say that's a pretty good haul thanks so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and consider subscribing and i'll see you next time